Hello everyone, and welcome back to one of Let's Plays Blind Edition, where I will be playing a game that one of my friends, Max, has requested. In fact, this is a, a birthday gift to him, because I'm uploading it on his birthday, so happy birthday, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be playing uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. Because, uh, you know, my friend and that is a big fan of Michael Jackson and stuff, and... He heard there's a game about it, and he wanted me to do a one-off Let's Play's Blind Edition of it, so I'm going to do it with no spoilers, please. I've noticed that with a lot of Sega Mega Drive games. If you don't click the start button, that's it, demo plays. But then again, a lot of games do that in general, if you ask me. Wait, this is two-player? Oh, blimey now, I might as well play two-player with him one day then. <laughs> but anyway, let's just go straight into this and see what it's like, because it's Michael Jackson in a game. I'm sure this is going to be good. Round one. Club 30. I think this is 30, doesn't it? Yes, as far as I'm aware. Alright, so... What do we do then? Also, there's like the ring sound from Sonic and stuff. I mean, I suppose this is Sega, so they could just do what they want for stuff. Since Sega got away with a lot of stuff in the 90s, from what I've noticed, and stuff like that. It also seems that the music in the background is basically a... Genesis or Mega Drive version of Michael Jackson's songs, but honestly, I would expect that because it's Michael Jackson, isn't it? And you know, his songs were good, so you might as well put them on the Mega Drive slash Genesis and things like that. But this is the sort of thing I don't think they, they could do for like the Super Nintendo or anything because they had to get the rights and stuff like that, you know? Sega just could do a lot of things compared to Nintendo from what I noticed back in the day. That's not to say though that the Super Nintendo is bad or anything, since I mean, that's a great system as well, really. To be honest, in my personal opinion, and I find the, the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, or uh, Sega Mega Drive from where I am anyway, are one of my favourite game systems ever really, I mean, to be honest, the Sega Mega Drive is my favourite system of all time. Mainly just for the sound of it and stuff like that, um, it's kind of a bit hard to explain, it makes more sense when you play it yourself really, but I find that even though, you know, the Sega Mega Drive with the sound, you know, like the sound bite being really low compared to the Super Nintendo. Because of how compressed it is, it sort of creates some sort of 80s to 90s feel to it, and I think that's what I like about it the most, really. I mean, like you can hear, this is basically Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson, but in Genesis form, you know? Which I think is really awesome, actually, because I have heard the OST to this game, as far as I'm aware, and I rather like it, especially Beta. I think that's really, really cool in Genesis form myself. It seems though that, uh, let's see, do I just defeat these enemies and then just go up the stairs? So I'm trying to go up the stairs, as he doesn't actually want to go up them, that's kind of strange really. Maybe I have to defeat like a list of enemies or something, or maybe talk to somebody? Then again, this was like in the day, you know, where you literally had to find stuff out yourself and stuff like that. Like, they didn't tell you the controls or anything, if you wanted to look up the controls, you had to look it in the manual. Because, you know, with games later on that, they told you about it in the game and stuff like that, but that's nothing bad, I mean. It's not that bad at all, really, if you ask me. Alright. There is a way to go upstairs, I'm sure there is. If it takes too long, I'm gonna have to gut this out. But you already know I'm playing terrible, given the fact I can't actually find out how to go up the flaming stairs. What, do I have to, like, go at a certain angle or something like that? Or maybe go up and then right? To be honest, I don't even know, but at least he does this, which is pretty cool. That's a trademark move. There's literally no purpose for this being in here other than the reference, but that's alright. Okay, somehow I managed to get up the stairs. I don't exactly know how. I just kind of destroyed the enemy and then clicked up straight away, and then that, for some reason, allows them to go up the stairs. I don't know really how that works or anything, but never mind. At least we're back now, and now I can actually get on with the game. Seriously, I spent most of my time just trying to find out how to go up the flaming stairs for some reason. Also, did I just kill that guy? Yeah, I just did for a bit fine. Because he took a bit more hits than usual, so that gives me some indication and stuff like that. It also seems that every move you do with Michael Jackson, like in the air and stuff, he always makes that strange noise. Also, what? Oh, great, I got Bubbles, the monkey. I think that's his name, isn't it? As far as I'm aware. I'm not sure. I'm not really a big Michael Jackson fan myself, so I don't really know much about him. I apologize for I've upset Michael Jackson fans, including Max. Sorry! <laughs> but, uh, let's see. He's telling me to go down, isn't he? Okay, fair enough, so I just gotta go downstairs, right? Okay, so do I just click down to go down like this? Is that right? I, can, I can't actually seem to go downstairs properly and stuff like that. Seriously, I'm having a lot of trouble doing this. I don't know why, because I'm trying to stand, like, in the center, but he's not... He doesn't want to go down, it's weird. What, do I have to kill another enemy or so in order to 
actually go down? I don't know, man. This is kind of strange stuff. Alright, let's see. Is there anything in here? No, there isn't. Anything? No, there's stairs down here. Can I, can I go downstairs? At all, maybe? No? Why can't I go downstairs? What am I doing wrong? Okay, so I found out the problem for what I have to do and things. I don't know, see, I feel a bit stupid for not knowing this, but most Mega Drive games that would automatically, or, you know, go up the stairs and stuff as soon as you jump on them. At least that's what I'm familiar with. But you have to press down and left at the same time on the, you know, directional pad or something. And I'm actually playing this on the original Mega Drive with, like, an original Sega Mega Drive controller and stuff. So it's a little bit strange having that, really. I'm not quite used to it, really. Anyway, so what do I do in here? Wait. You'll never catch me. Also, wow, I know that song. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I see. So it's just a whole embarment of enemies that I have to try and destroy, right? I haven't actually tried the A button yet. Wait, what's this do? It causes me to spin and throw my hat. Wait, really? You could use your hat as a blooming weapon? So it's kind of like Odd Job from James Bond, really. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, great. More children to rescue. Oh, and that's it! That's the first level! Brilliant! I've spent like 80 minutes so far trying to work out how to go up the freaking stairs! Oh god. Also, wow, that was rather strange. <laughs> but now we can actually get on with the game. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but either way I can tell this bit's pretty short, so uh, I'm just going to see how long I can go on for till I actually die or something like that. Because I don't really know how to lay this out or anything, but at least now I know how to go up the freaking stairs and things. I can actually make proper progress instead of worrying about it. Seriously, that's been my literal bugbear with all of this so far. The enemies and all that's fine, the controls are okay and stuff, but it's just going up those stairs that got me for some reason, and I don't know why. Although so far this game is, doesn't actually seem that bad, to be honest, and stuff like that. It's basically just Michael Jackson's, and you're playing as Michael Jackson and just rescuing children and stuff like that, even though that's a bit strange, really, but never mind. Well, so is there a way to moonwalk at all? I don't know how to moonwalk. Wait, at least I know that I can... Wait, let me just try a bunch of commands and stuff. Now nah, forget it, I'll just get on with the game up because I'm going to be here even longer. I'm going to be like an hour or so on Michael Jackson's freaking moonwalker, aren't I? Oh cool, I can kick him like, downstairs and that as well, can I? Ah, that's fair enough, that's fine by me. Cool. Well, that'd be honest, there isn't really much else to say and stuff like that. I guess this is why, if even if I played this game before and stuff, I probably wouldn't do a proper LP of this, because I mean, well, it's... It's the same on each level, isn't it? You go around and you're saving children and stuff like that. Instead, there's honestly not much to say about this at all. But never mind. Plus, I've been a while just trying to find out how to go up the stairs and stuff. I know I'm going on about it a lot, but I'm just... You know, it's weird. It's really weird to have that, if you ask me. Because, I mean, I'm trying to do it right now and stuff. Pressing up and right. But it's really fiddly and stuff. Like, I still can't do it for some reason. This is strange, man. Alright, try again. Nope, not quite. Okay, up and right, maybe. Go! Oh my god, go up the stairs! This is... Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, press it with my two thumbs, aren't I, at the same time? Because it's not programmed very well for a Mega Drive controller, really, this. Oh, boy. Oh, well, I should just call that the subtitle of this. Just stairs! My worst enemy of the game, or something like that. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, let's see. At least you get like an indication though to show you how many of them are left. Like, I believe there's like two left and stuff like that, and then you just fight a whole group of enemies. I wonder when I actually get to fight the villain myself. That's... That's what I want to know and stuff like that. Okay, right. <laughs> Do it! Go! There we go. I'm gonna cut out me going to go up those stairs and that, because I, I just can't do it for the life of me and stuff like that, you know? I assume with another controller it's a lot easier and to and things like that, but I just don't know, man. I don't even know what to say anymore, to this. This is just kind of strange, really. But, oh well. <laughs> this game has drained me! We're just going up the stairs! I'm screwed on life now, aren't I? Oh god, here we go again! There we go. Cool. Oh god. Okay, right. Well, but at least there's like some sort of like arcades and stuff around there. If anything, I don't know about you, but it reminds me of that arcade place that you get to uh, if you've ever played Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Mega Drive and stuff. It reminds me a lot of that, and well, it, it just does really. 
And this appears to be le the levels and stuff like that. You rescue kids, find mummels, get to the bottom, and then that's it, really. Going down the stairs isn't that bad, really, because I don't know. Maybe it's just my controller. I mean, like I say, I am using, like, an original Mega Drive controller, and sometimes those aren't really the best. Like, they're not as durable as other controllers, I suppose. But I do like to play things the original way, or so. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? And I'm going to have to try to get up the bloody stairs again. All right, actually, that didn't take too long that time. Maybe it is just the control. <laughs> Maybe I'm just overreacting. I have no idea. All right. Yeah, because it always appears to be the right one, stuff like that. Oh, well. Okay, Bubbles, where exactly do you want me to go? Here. I was just here a minute ago, wasn't I? Ah, never mind. Let's just take out these group of enemies and see how we do. Also, it's really terrified then that it froze. So it says something uh, I will agree with, like cartridges and stuff like that. While I do like to play them the original way, they do sometimes have a thing where they just like to freeze and stuff like that, you know? Where sometimes, like, if you're not the cartridge, the game will just bug out and things, and then that's it, you have to start all over again. Much like that time when I was playing James Pond 2, um, was it Codename Robocod? Then I accidentally nudged it, and I was like, at one of the last levels, I think, I was like, oh man, I gotta start it again. Although you can use cheats if you want, but then again, I mean, I'm not really a person that uses cheats that much. I suppose when I use cheats, it's pretty much, it's only for fun, really. I mean, one example being Simpsons Hit and Run, you know? It's not really one which, which is going to make the game ridiculously easy. It's just going to allow you to do things that you wouldn't actually be able to do in the game, like make cars jump. I mean, you can't do that in the proper story, can you? And I always had fun with things and stuff like that. I remember that because Simpsons Hit and Run was a big part of my childhood. I played that a lot. It was basically GTA, but The Simpsons, which honestly worked pretty well, if you ask me. I reckon, though, that after this level, I'm going to call it off here or so, because, well, I mean... I'm pretty sure the rest of the levels are the same, except for just different layouts and stuff like that. Like, maybe we get out in the streets or something, but I just don't know myself, really. So what I was going to say, are you actually going to do things? Come on to think of it, the engine is really similar to the Shinobi games. <laughs> Particularly uh, Revenge of the Shinobi, if you ask me. But I don't know, that's just me, personally. Also, I don't know why enemies come out the doors and stuff, but never mind. Uh, let's see. Let's just go down here and stuff like that, and see how many we got left, even though it tells me where I have, like, uh, I have six of them. Fair enough, that's fine, I mean. Can I at least just spin? Yeah, I can do that. Which is actually really cool, especially since you can use that as, like, your projectile. I honestly should use that a lot more, because I've used it, like, twice so far. But, you know, it hasn't really done much justice or anything like that. I really don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. I suppose this is why I don't really often do one of its plays blind editions of um, you know, Sega Mega Drive games. Because even though they have like simple gameplay and that, it's hard knowing when to stop and it's very difficult to find things to talk about, you know, during them, because you're basically doing the same thing. Especially when you're having trouble trying to go up the blimmin' stairs. Here we go again. The combat though is actually pretty good, really. I suppose that's another reason why it reminds me of Shinobi and stuff, since all you have to do is jump and press B and that to attack enemies and things in order to make it easy for yourself, right? I mean, that's what I think, anyway. Oh my god, not again! <laughs> Even clicking the actual arrow itself does bugger all. Get up the stairs! There we go. No, oh, I'm getting really sick and tired of this now, <laughs> trying to get up these blooming stairs. Like, honestly, I'm sure, like I said, I, I, I know I said this a lot and stuff, but if you're playing this, like, on an emulator, a keyboard and stuff, all you have to do is press, you know, up and right, or up and left. I'm sure it's easy, but the original Sega Mega Drive controller looks like this, you know? It's a giant circle with this kind of thing. So it's kind of a little bit awkward to do that, really. I'm pretty sure even if I was playing this on a PlayStation controller, it would have worked. Maybe I should have played this on an emulator in general, but you're not to know, are you? <laughs> Especially, like, if it's a game you've never played before, so that makes perfect sense. I don't know why it always, like, you know, the kids were, like, they have blue bits of life for some reason. That's honestly kind of strange, if you ask me. I swear, though, they've reused, like, the same arcade bit, like, all the time. Also, this piano is here for some reason as well. They just seem to be reusing a lot of stuff, but then again. Maybe it has like a sort of Sonic the Hedgehog thing, you know, where it has like three levels, and then it goes on to another one after that. So how do I get up there? This That looks like a place where I can go up, doesn't it? Let's go see, if I just go down here. Maybe there's another stairs or something, or maybe even like a door which leads to it? I just don't know, really. 
There's almost a lot of exploration in this game, if you ask me. <laughs> Which is kind of strange, but never mind. I honestly wouldn't really have expected Michael Jackson to be an exploring game or anything, to be honest. If I think about Michael Jackson now, I think it's going to involve, like, singing or something. You know, like, similar to, say, we'll see. You know that, for people who have played Kingdom Hearts 2, anyway, you know that place where you get to where you have to click the button in time to the music and stuff? Uh, that sort of thing. But not this. But either way, this is pretty cool. So I'm fine with that. And I honestly don't know where I'm going now. I have no idea how to get up there. <laughs> Lord help me. Okay. I think I'm honestly going to call it off here. Because I don't really know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing or stuff like that. Or at least where to go next. As I've been here a while trying to find stuff out. And it's drawing on way too long. Like literally I've looked at my timer and I've been recording this game for half an hour. I am really confused by this. Mainly because of like the stairs and stuff. And it honestly... It's a, it's honestly a really good game, if you ask me, when you know what you're doing and stuff. Because I kind of like the combat and things. I like the music especially, you know. I like the whole platforming stuff. I like what you do and things. It's... I know I've said them things a lot, but whatever. I like that side of stuff. <laughs> but, you know, it looks like it's the type of thing where you have to look it up or so of what to do next. Like, you have to look up a guide and things. Otherwise, you're not really going to get anywhere, so... I'm gonna call it off here, I reckon, for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Mac Drive and Slash Genesis. Do I recommend you that you get it? Yeah, but expect to be a little stuck in places and maybe use a guide. Maybe what I should do is play this game in my spare time, get the hang of it, and actually get good at it. <laughs> and then show it off as a one-off Let's Play in general, just so that you get a better idea of what it's like and stuff like that. Because, I mean, it seems like an interesting game on its own, really. So, uh... Take care guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one of Let's Plays Blind Edition, particularly you Max for watching this, happy birthday, and I'll see you in more stuff.